welcome to T2T -T Boxing in association with IFL TV and MGM Marbella. Here we have with us today Carly Mean Hands Mean, uh, sparring with Alex Leopai ahead of his fight on the Super 8 card <coughs> for the WBA Asia Pacific Heavyweight title. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having taken some time out with us, Carly. You're welcome. Um, Last year you fought in the, uh, the, <coughs> same, the same bill, the Super 8 bill, but as part of the, uh, the competition, uh, part of the structure obviously coming through, being Michael Sprott in the final. Yep. Tell us a little bit like what, the, um, you know, what it was like going through that process, having three different opponents in one night. Yeah, well basically it was, um, first of all, thanks guys for the interview. It was um, just like back in the amateur format, you know, when you fight in the tournaments. It was, um, like I thought I'd pretty much retired, you know, I wasn't doing anything and I sort of turned, I actually turned it down the first time they, they offered it to me. Uh, as it ended up, I ended up going in it and I found the only thing that, you know, that I found really hard was um, warming up between the bouts because it was a really cold, cold dressing room, you know. Mm. But um, apart from that, I just, you know, had the long warm up, I was okay. What, and what would be your advice to the guys in the uh, in the fights, in the cruiserweight fights coming up this time round? Obviously, they're in a similar position. I mean, boxing-wise, I mean that's their coach gives them the advice. But um, you know, just say what I did, just try and stay warm between between bouts. Um, you, you don't want to. I mean, you can sit down and you just got to time it right. Um, and you know how long you got to warm up. Just make sure you get into the next fight warm, nice and warm. Absolutely. And you've had you know, a fairly long and successful career up until this point, and up until the Super 8s, and you'd had a, you know, a period of inactivity and, and fights had, had yep. slowed down slightly. Did winning that reignite your, your passion for it? Is that why we're seeing you back in the ring again? And what's, what's, brought, what's brought on this sort of return to the ring? Um, it didn't really. I mean, um, to me, boxing's a thing that sort of drags your whole family into every, everything, you know? So um, I had a lot of... A lot of um, periods of inactivity in my career due to no fault of my own or just you know bad management son maybe not the right promoter things like that uh, things out of my hand I was always ready to fight um, I had one time when seven fights fell through I mean now I've got to fight with Shane Cameron it's a, it's a little bit about sort of letting people back in New Zealand where I'm originally from sort of know what I've done and you know what I mean and it's, it's a little bit of that involved. Um, so in, you mentioned say fighting in New Zealand again um, and having fought all around the world um, and having come up in New Zealand. How have you found the promotions in say Australia and New Zealand to, compared to when you fought over in Vegas or New York? Well, I mean, over in Vegas, obviously, in, in, in Madison Square Garden and New York, it's a different ball game. You know, it's just uh, it's just huge. Um, the media is right behind it. The, the people, the fans, they just really, really love it. You know, and. Um, I was fortunate enough. I was blessed to have, you know, have experienced that fighting in those arenas. Uh, but I, I, I can see here in Australia, and especially right now in New Zealand, there's like a, um, a wave of excitement in the boxing game. You know, a lot of that in New Zealand is due to what David Tour has accomplished. Um, there's just, there's just always an interest in fights. Whenever there's a promotion, everybody tunes in. You know, so, and I mean. Also, with Sky Arena being the promoter, the TV company, it really helps too. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, so you are starting to see a lot more, um, mm. particularly in that heavyweight division from Australia and New Zealand yeah, to yeah. yourself. And Alex, who's firing with tonight, obviously yeah. got Lucas Brown and, and David Tour, who you mentioned. Of fighters, so yeah. good, um, good crop of fighters mm. coming through. Um, and do you see the Super 8s um, and this fight here, this title fight, and as an opportunity to, to springboard yourself back into those fights in those arenas like Madison Square Garden I mean, eventually? Good question. I could, I could see it happening. I could see it springboarding that, but um, I'm not planning for that. I'm, not, I'm just taking each fight as it comes at the moment, to be honest with you. I, I don't want to look past Shane Cameron at all. Um, I just want to take this fight. I'm, I'm sort of, um, you know, not not so much. I don't want to be selfish. No, I've sort of had my time. It's my son has got to turn pro too, so I'm sort of looking at guiding him the right way. You know, so things like this with this busyness and it can help. You know, absolutely. And uh, any prediction for the for the fight with Shane? Are we going to see a, a knockout on the night? I, I believe we will. I mean, I can't see it going 12 rounds. I can't. But, um, <laughs> Perfect. Well, look, thanks a lot for your time, Carly. Thanks, really appreciate that. We'll speak to you soon. Yep. Good luck Thank tonight. You.